Welcome back to another hodgepodge of packs being ripped open. Uh, today we're going to check out... I, I Yeah, I finally took the leap and decided to rip open that wax box I have of Comic Ball 3 featuring the Griffies and Jim Abbott. Again, just like Comic Ball 1, I thought there was going to be more baseball involved. I believe those are the only three players, but we'll see. I've been wrong in the past. Then we have some stickers because my Auction Ninja seller... My, my main plug on Auction Ninja was always throwing these in. So we'll open those up and take a look. Another free pack here that was tossed in somewhere. I think I was really at the card shop it's from 2022 and something I don't remember at all. So when I saw this on eBay, I thought I'm going to go ahead and grab these. I have two packs. We're going to open one today. So I think let's get the disappointment out of the way. We'll go with Comic Ball and see, because as we all know, no one does comics like Upper Deck. The awesome thing, though, is these are going to be very stiff and sharp cards. I love opening Upper Deck from the 90s. It is quite rewarding. Nothing sticking together. So, yeah, here we go. We're not going to have a lot. We're just looking for baseball. Okay, there we go. King Griffey kept his average above 300 during one entire season. Oh, in what year? I didn't see that. So, okay, that's kind of neat. They have trivia on the back. KG Senior. Yeah, this is disappointing. I mean, not that the box would have been very valuable had I left it in its previous condition anyway. There's one about Jim Abbott. You gotta flip it over to read. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did Jim Abbott win the American League Rookie of the Year Award in 90, or in 89? Now, had I actually taken the time to read that, I would have already known the answer is no, because Greg Olson did. Boom. And if you're on Twitter, go ahead and follow him. He, he, he's fun. He'll talk to you all afternoon, all night. He responds to just about everybody, including the the people who talk smack. Is Jim Abbott married or single? Uh, I think he's got a kid, right? He was married in the offseason of 91. Oh, and you know what else I just realized? We're building up a puzzle. So that'll be... That'll be worth looking into. I don't know how many pieces are going to be required. Hopefully 10. But this is getting annoying now. I thought each card was going to have a player. There's the kid. So we're going to hold off every card that actually has a player. Oh, there's the box top. That's kind of neat. How many years did King Griffey Jr. play in the minor leagues? Answer? Two seasons, 87 with Bellingham, and he split 88 in San Bernardino and Vermont. Didn't know Vermont even had minor league baseball. That'll be a fun road trip. What do we have here? Like, I don't get why they did this. If we're not going to have a baseball player on every card, and I'm not going to sit here and read the, the trivia. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll go through the next one pretty quickly and then we're going to see if we have all the pieces to make the puzzle or how many puzzles there even are involved that that's the other thing what's ken griffey jr's full name george kenneth griffey jr no appearance on the card there's jim keep your eye on the ball bugs that doesn't make sense because bugs is not the one maybe bugs is supposed to be pitching here? I don't know. What country did Jim Abbott pitch against in the baseball finals? It doesn't really give us enough information. Japan. Full game 5-3 victory. Here he is again. I told me he was headed for the bullpen. What? How many errors has Jim Abbott committed in his three major league seasons? Five total. Three in 89, one in 90, and two in 91. That's six. Huh. Six. That's an error card. Well, eBay one of one that later on tonight. Oh, what do we have here? Again, it says batty practice. That's the same. I don't understand. Oh, so, okay. All right. So, the blue ones are all going to come together to form a, a puzzle. Check out. I'm guessing, actually, I don't know that for sure. Go Mariners. 
Hey, you long-eared galoot. I can't see. That's pretty funny. So I think... Yeah, then the red ones, they'll do a different puzzle that looks like it's going to be... Daffy Duck. Oh, that's neat. I kind of like that card. And then... The winning scheme. Odd ways. We'll go quick again. We're going to speed this up. And then uh, we'll put the puzzle together later. Okay, now we got the hot pack, so we're not going to go too fast. Okay, psych. Next and last. Aren't you glad we didn't do the whole blaster? <laughs> that would have been painful. Or not even a blaster. It's a wax box. I think it's got like 36 packs in it. And this was, of course, when you would get 12 cards per pack. Actually getting your money's worth. That's the dope thing about buying old wax. I, I paid like $20 for this box. Who cares? I mean, well, this one, obviously, not as fun to open as actual card packs. I got another one of those. Another one of those. That's cool. I like that. That's probably the nicest card so far. Too bad it's in landscape and not portrait. Okay. So we're going to put our hits off to the side and then I'll figure out the puzzle. After we check these out. Uh, let's see what else is going to not be great. We'll go with stickers, obviously. Do they still make sticker books for these? Like the, the old Panini ones back in the day? I never see them. Will Myers, Javier Baez, Charlie Blackman! Oh, Clay, nice. So, alright. Clay's definitely getting sleeved up. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. How are these stickers if we got people on the front and the back? Obviously, they can't all be stickers. Gordon Severino. Ooh. Sure. Oh, okay. Okay, so that assures her as we're keeping. Okay. Shohei's obviously going to beat Javi Baez. Charlie Blackman's going to win. And obviously, Clay's going to beat Gordon. So that whole pack, four hits. Boom. After I was just talking smack about the stickers. I still don't understand it, though. How is this four stickers? And that's... That would appear to be... Yeah, that's the front of the card. This is the back of the card. If that's how you want to play. I don't. I'll consider those four the fronts of those cards. Um, hmm. There's a potential for something really interesting here. And we have no idea what this is. So we'll do this one first. Plus it's only four cards. We just did well with those four. Carson Kelly on the backside. Raj. Seen a lot of Raj today. Trevor Story. Aaron Ashby. And Carson Kelly. So okay. Now, also, is that some kind of parallel because it's purple? Or did they just, because he had been retired for like 10 years at this point, they brought him down to JCPenney. But still, all right. It's a chrome platinum. All right. Now on to Nolan Ryan. This is like opening up an old uh, ring ding. Which, ironically enough, Tended to come with baseball cards on the bottom of the box. As long as mom didn't come home with the store brand. The ShopRite version. Okay, so the top one there's glue on it. And these look like they sat in the sun for ever. They made something else back in the day. Pacific. I'm not really sure. So, no, they are licensed and authorized by Nolan himself. Let's see. And Phil Necro stretching before the game. Something about seeing it. Oh, yeah, the, both those are dope. It'd be neat if they just threw in a rookie card. Don't mess with. Yo, how many times are we going to see Raj today? And then there we go. So a fun rip. I don't really understand. Well, that. All right, so that one's. 
unfortunately, not worth putting in the PC. Yeah, I'm not. I like these, though. How did I never see them as a kid in 91? So right in the hot spot. And it was clearly a pretty big set. We got 201 as the high card. 213 is the high card from ours. So that there's at least 213 cards in that set. It's pretty neat. Actually, instead of speeding through the puzzle, we're just going to go ahead and see if we have it completed or not. Let's check. All right, so we got the first row off of that puzzle, and it, yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to have, well, maybe with the Pacific. No, there, there's not going to be enough here to finish one of these. Shortened version of the long story is that we do not have a puzzle because they made too many. They should have followed Don Russ's example and just made one nice puzzle. So be it. That was that. I hope you had fun. I definitely had fun. I had fun pulling another Shohei, another Charlie Blackman, another Clayton Kershaw. Those two are PC, so that's always pumped. Charlie Blackman might. I might hold on to that. I'll probably hold on to that. Well, who knows? Either way, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, shoot me a message. Drop it down in the comments. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I don't think there's any reason to even send them off to com c and have them deal with it i don't know maybe somebody's looking for these maybe i'll open the rest of the box and just put all the puzzles together that sounds like probably a good idea a job for another day so that's going to do it i appreciate you watching here comes the end card